Hey guys, it's Sharon. Happy first day of Vlogmas. I am very sick, so bear with my crusty voice today. Since it's December 1st, we are decorating and putting up the tree today, and you're coming along with me. I have decorations, but I like to buy new ones every year, so we're going shopping. First stop is the Dollar Tree. I always get garland, and this candy cane one is my favorite. I have both these mini trees at home, but I want new ornaments, and I'm definitely digging this rose gold theme. I also grabbed this silver tree collar. For my topper, I'm kind of back and forth because I don't think any match too well, but I can't afford to be back and forth because they close in an hour and so does Target. I went with rose gold flowers. Last thing I need at Dollar Tree is a greeting card and you'll see what I do with this later. Next up is Walgreens to pick up some poster prints to hang in my room. I also found this cute Christmas tree squish so like y'all know I had to get it. With less than an hour before closing we're off to Target. My logic is the less time I have the better. That way I'm not distracted and buying things I don't need. So first I spotted these little bottles and I definitely had to get them because I got them for Halloween so I need Christmas. Christmas too. I don't know what I'm going to do with these signs, but I think they're so cute, so I grabbed them as well. I bought these mini figures and this dome, and I'm also grabbing a mini tree. My last stop is Walmart. I found purple mini ornaments, so that was a need. Also bought these white and pink ones for my rose gold theme. That was about it for Walmart, really. I mean, I grabbed elf cookies and candy cane hot cocoa, and like, I was out. I also lied to you. I'm so sorry. I stopped at Marshall's quickly for bed sheets. I love festive bed sheets, and I could not choose between two patterns. I was between white snowflakes or gray red trucks. So I posted a poll on Instagram and asked you. White snowflakes was the winner, so that's what I got. And now we're on the way back home to decorate my room. This is what we're working with, which we are transforming from, I don't know if it's like Halloween or if it's just my normal every day. It's kind of a little bit of both, but we're turning it from Halloween slash normal to Christmas. So wish me luck. I feel like the dresser is a good place to start. I kind of already have a little bit of a Christmas decoration out. I found this at Target for like three bucks the other day. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. So that's kind of there right now. I feel like this is the safest way to start. I know the little posters behind me are gonna be the most annoying part because uh -huh, those are like cardboard posters. So I'd have to like detach it from the wall, replace them with the Christmas posters, then attach them to the wall again. So I'm probably gonna save that for last or I'll save the bed for last. I don't know if do that last or do the posters last. I feel like the bed is gonna be the easiest. I could do the bed first, but that's too easy, you know? So I don't know, man. I'm just gonna start pulling out all the decorations looking at it and we're gonna go from there. Technically, I already have my first Christmas decoration up, which is this wreath that I actually made myself. I made it with a bunch of stuff from the Dollar Tree. I am very proud of it. If you wanna see how I made it, go check out my TikTok, at Sharon Canzio, but yeah. We got our first one down. So these are the decorations from Target, Dollar Tree. Did I go anywhere else? And Walmart, I almost forgot already, but we got that. I also have a bunch of Christmas decorations hidden in this little thing under my bed. So here's like the rest of my Christmas decorations. Looking at everything spread out, I just know I'm not gonna use them all, but I'll try to do my best. I start with my dresser because I have an idea of what I wanna do. That being first to cover this tray with this photo snow sheet. I'm going to place the Target dome on top and this little singing scenery I bought a few days ago also from Target. I took the minis and set them up inside the dome to have a small skiing slash winter terranium, if you will. I think it's so cute. I thought it looked kind of flat though once I placed the dome and the TV on the tray, so I think a mini tree would make it better. I have the white tree or a green tree, and since I have a lot of green here already, I'm gonna use the green tree and add all of my classic ornaments. Before I do that though, I'm gonna add it string lights that I got from the Dollar Tree last year. They have a battery pack, so I'm hiding that behind the tree. Like I said, we're going classic, so I'm using red and gold ornaments. I also have mini red gift bows, so I use those as ornaments too. I mean, once you think about it, anything can be an ornament. You're welcome. You'll notice I also found a cute spot for some of the mini bottles I found. Now for my topper. Luckily, I had a gold star from last year, so that worked out perfectly. I feel like my dresser was still falling flat, and whenever something is falling flat, you know what will fix it? Garland. Garland will fix it. I took this green garland I had and outlined, for lack of better words, hung, taped, bordered around my dresser's mirror and I thought it added the perfect holiday flair. Now remember that greeting card I bought? Fun little life hack. It's one of my favorites. I have a small picture frame that during the holidays I simply replace my photo with a card and suddenly I have a themed framed photo for that low low literally 50 cents. It's awesome. I put that in its usual spot, adding my leftover mini bottles because I truly don't know where else I'd put them. I added some height to my terrarium and placed it behind my ski signs. And for the sake of just using more decorations, I added a classic nutcracker right next to it. Honestly, I don't think one tree is enough. 
ever. And I bought so many cute ornaments and I'm not about to not use them. I started decorating the white tree with my mini purple ornaments. Originally, this was gonna be my rose gold tree, but like, let's be honest, purple is my brand. So yes, I did just waste money on those rose gold accessories, but like, uh, you know, there's like always next year. I add a star on top because that's what I am. Kidding, maybe. Anyway, this is going right on my nightstand next to my YouTube plaque. See what I did there? <laughs> I also added my spray painted purple nutcracker next to it. I really wanted to use the candy cane garland I bought, so I just threw it across the top slash back of my bed frame and just let it sit and hang there. It's kind of cute and I use something else so it works. Now for the scary part the Squishmallows. I recently became um, obsessed with Squishmallows, but I only collect holiday themed Squish. And of course, you can bet your booty that I already stocked up on a Christmas Squish. Yes, ma'am, I am a little bit ashamed. Yes, ma'am or sir, I'm so sorry if I misidentified you. Anyways, I replaced my color scheming fall Squish with color scheming Christmas Squish and switch out my spooky cats on top of my cube storage thingy with some not so spooky ones. Although you can find zero at my desk. I mean, it is called the Nightmare before Christmas, so it counts. So I've managed to decorate everything I pretty much wanted to, which is literally just my dresser and then my nightstand and I guess like the little squishmallows. I'm not gonna decorate my desk only because I'm very uh, nitpicky about my desk and like I need my desk to be just like a clean area. So we're gonna pass on the desk, but everything else is pretty much done except for two things. That being the posters behind me and the bed sheets. As you can see, I changed one of the posters. I changed this poster, don't mind that, that I need to fix, but I changed that poster. I did it off camera just to see if what I wanted to do would work, which was basically slide the poster in through the outside so I don't have to take it off and it did work. So that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of these and hope for the best. And then we're gonna change the sheets and then we are done decorating my bedroom. As you can see, I had Halloween posters up. So instead of taking them down, I'm just gonna cover them with the Christmas posters. I bought the files off of Etsy from Super talented artist. I'll link them in the comments and then just have them blown up into poster size at Walgreens. I have a reindeer poster, the North Pole, candy canes, and the Polar Express. I'm obsessed. Yes, that rhymed and no, it wasn't on purpose. I am very excited for these sheets and I'm just hoping and praying that they don't get dirty quickly and easily because they're white sheets, but I mean... <laughs> You know about white sheets and mother nature. <laughs> it's gonna be a snowy Christmas or a bloody Christmas. Who knows? In all honesty though, I haven't stained the bed with mother nature in a hot minute, so I'm not actually that worried about it. And I know I say to avoid white, but my literal only excuse here is because they're festive. Other than that, I'm not a fan of white sheets, mainly because I do snack on my bed and my snacks get on my bed a lot mainly chocolate. So tell me how I'm making the bed as I do, and I found a freaking stain on brand new sheets. Um, I am so annoyed that I had to go make a drink. Kidding, <laughs> I already had this one made. It's a mango margarita. Uh, check it out on my TikTok. I did a Marvel Doctor Strange movie night. But aside from that, I'm very annoyed. Do I return the sheets? Do I try and get it out with OxyClean? I don't know and I am so annoyed. <laughs> what if they don't have any more? Oh, I'm so mad. And now I gotta fold that up and put it back in the packaging. Bruh. This ain't it, but let's do a quick room tour in the meantime before I strip the bed again, apparently. <sighs> LOL, is that my sock? I just realized this countdown is wrong. Okay, two and four. 24 more videos of Vlogmas, you mean. Also, I do wanna point this out. If anyone sees this, uh, no, it is not a vape. It's actually one of the coolest thing ever is it is an electric lighter. So watch this. I go like this and one of the best things I've ever purchased in my life. So, oh, I gotta find my gingerbread candle. I found my gingerbread candle. Look how cute the dresser is. And my obnoxious ring light, don't talk about it. Wow, we did good. I did good. You did great supporting me. <laughs> Tell me how I woke up sick. Literally in true Just Sharon fashion, right before I'm doing a Vlogmas, 25 days of videos for the first time in my career, I get sick. I woke up this morning, obviously sick. Besides that, I washed the sheets. 
and the stain came out a little bit like the tiniest bit is still left so I'm soaking it in more oxyclean and I'm gonna wash it again and hope that it's out I think I'm gonna keep the sheets they're really cute and they're really comfy second thing I got more squishmallows <laughs> I stopped at like Walgreens this morning and I saw them and I was like oh my god they're so cute one is from five below though that I stopped for like shopping like Christmas shopping real quick so it's that one right there little coffee here I'll just cut to it and show them up close <laughs> Olaf he's so cute I also got this hot cocoa and I got my favorite Rudolph. I have a problem. So now my room is decorated, right? What's left is the Christmas tree. Granted, I feel as crappy as I sound, but we are still gonna decorate the Christmas tree because it is December, it is Christmas, and I don't have a tree up. We're gonna go do that and hope I don't pass out because I do get out of breath easily and let the record show that I don't get out of breath because I'm weak. I get out of breath because I'm sick. I also get out of breath because I'm weak, but in this case, it's because I'm sick. So the tree is gonna go directly behind me. Yes, that's a giant portrait of myself from my quinceanera. Anyways, my tree is going right here, right here. So I gotta go get it and let's hope I don't pass out. Believe it or not, I think the tree is actually super easy to decorate, which is why I'm totally okay doing it on my own. Also, yes, I use a fake tree. My family has never used a real tree and we also live in Florida. So it's not like tree hunting is all that fun as like the movies make it look. I'm using the same theme as last year, a winter wonderland where I use only blue, white and silver decorations. Maybe I'll shake it up next year and do like a purple theme. We'll see. Feel free to comment down some suggestions. I always add my lights first and I have these curtain lights that go on top and like rain down for lack of better words it definitely beats wrapping around the tree 110 percent for decor i start with the biggest pieces first i literally place fake potted plants in my tree and yes they hold up and they fill a lot of empty space i even add stuffed animals after my big pieces i add my medium ones which in this case are like icicles flowers and some other ones and before i fill it with ornaments i like to add my topper which is of course a big fat bow bow toppers are my absolute favorite they just make the tree look like a giant present i love it so much now the ornaments are a piece of cake I literally just put them wherever there's a small empty space and even add mini tiny ornaments too. Your girl loves to shake it up with different shapes and sizes. I sweep before adding my tree skirt because the faux snow is a pain in the butt and I'm almost done with the tree. Just gotta add all my figures creatures i'm not sure what i'd call them i basically just have a bunch of animals i add at the bottom of the tree and leave a small space in the middle for presents finally the tree is done and so am i she said wishfully i still have the couch to decorate i feel like those infomercial guys but wait there's more the couch is easy though it's really just a bunch of stuffed animals and pillows featuring this peppermint i made anything i made you can find on my tiktok most likely another fun life hack gift boxes work as great posters and great decor i have nowhere else to put them so the couch it is we don't really use this couch too often so it's fine and now the entire room is finally done i also added some figurines on top of the fake fireplace and here is my beautiful tree in its entirety not to toot my own horn but like dang girl let's turn the lights off and the tree on it has a lot of settings but i put it on the one that says show because that's what the people deserve a show sis look at this tree it's like we're at the club without all the sweaty you know gross people which makes it better to finish the day i'm making some peppermint green tea i got from trader joe's hopefully my voice is back to normal soon if not this is gonna be a very long vlogmas for your girl. I like to read in front of the Christmas tree and pretend I'm in a Hallmark movie. In reality, it's just YouTube, but we're not gonna talk about it. Either way, I hope you had fun tagging along with me today. If you did, give us a thumbs up and tell me when you put the tree up, before Thanksgiving or after. Subscribe for more and hit the little bell to turn on your post notifications and I'll see you tomorrow for day two of vlogmas. Bye.